Roberto, good morning. Um, good morning. How special is it to be sitting here and talking about Champions League football for Manchester City? I think that is an exciting day for for the club because to play in Champions League after many years uh, is very important uh, and special day. I mean, you know an awful lot about Napoli. You've managed against them. You've played against them. How strong a side are they? Napoli is a good team uh, because last year they did very well in the Italian Championship. This year they bought uh, other good players and. You must think that tomorrow is the first game in Champions League. It's the first game is always a difficult game. How much of an advantage? You've played so many games this season. They've played just the one. Does that give you an advantage? Probably, probably, uh, because we played uh, five games. Uh, Naples played only one game. But uh, tomorrow will be uh, is exciting for us, but also for them. And I think that uh, tomorrow Napoli will play a fantastic game. In terms of injuries, we know about James Milner and, and Gareth Barry. Have either of those likely to, to make tomorrow night? Uh, we will try tomorrow, tomorrow morning, because uh, both players uh, have a problem, and tomorrow we we try. What was your reaction when the draw was made? It could have been a lot easier. When the draw was made, it's been a lot easier. Easier? <laughs> no, I think that uh, we we took the other groups in the in the Champions League because uh, in this group there are four teams that can can win the the group or can arrive on four position. Uh, I think that is uh, is very will be very hard for for every team this. Has there ever been a new entrant into the Champions League who's having such expectations? Thank you. Uh, I think this is a normal for, for us because now Manchester City is uh, is one of the best team uh, in England and in Europe, I hope. And this is a normal. I think that uh, for us will be very important to do very well our job in this group and uh, our target is uh, to go in the second stage. No, I don't think this because uh, like I said before, for us it will be a very important day but uh, it's always a football match. Uh, Difficult, uh, difficult game, probably, but uh, is a, is a football match. We have uh, a player with uh, a lot of experience. Uh, a lot of the, our players played in Champions League. I, I don't think that uh, we, we can have a pressure for this game. Alor, yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, it's a, a special moment uh, also because uh, Naples for me uh, was really important when I played like a player. Uh, and uh, to restart again against uh, in Champions League against an Italian team uh, is, a special, is a special moment. I think like like manager said that uh, we have a lot of lot of players who play already Champions League and uh, how manager said all players played for national team is very very good for us and will be difficult for us because it's first game in Champions League for for our club but I think we are ready and uh, we want to win uh, tomorrow. Yeah, always. Also when I played, they criticized me every time. But this is important because uh, uh, if your father say these things, uh, one said that is true, 
and uh, for me it's important to improve always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting better. It's okay. And this is uh, the more important things in this moment uh, for him. Uh, just a second. Uh, sorry, I couldn't hear the question. I can't hear you. <laughs> Grazie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry about this. Okay. Um, e la domanda è stata se appunto come sta suo padre e appunto sta meglio. <laughs> Grazie. Ma non gioca domani, ma tomorrow no, he can play. No, tomorrow we we'll decide tomorrow after the, the last uh, training session that we'll do. And uh, but I think that uh, if you have uh, three striker like uh, Carlos, uh, Edin or Sergio, I think that it's difficult to make a mistake. Good, no? You just said um, that for you, the second stage is the target. But how uh, do you think that you can go? Well, now is the second stage is uh, our target in this moment. How far do you think you can go? I don't know. I don't know because uh, uh, in Champions League it's difficult to, to say where we can uh, where we could arrive uh, is difficult to say now. Now it's important that uh, tomorrow we start well uh, in the group uh, and that uh, we can go in the second stage. Uh, only this. After, if we, we go in the second stage in February, we can, we can talk about this. Sfruttamento degli spazi in contropiede o ti sembra una squadra che possa giocare anche un calcio diverso? Questa è la prima domanda. La seconda riguarda le gerarchie in attacco. Il campo sta dicendo che Geco e Aguero sono qualcosa di diverso rispetto agli altri. Secondo te Balotelli saprà accettare questo ruolo un po' subalterno di seconda fascia? Tutti e due translate. Grazie, thanks. Sure, okay. <laughs> thanks. So first of all, uh, the first question is um, what are the um, um, what, you what type of football do you spell do you expect uh, uh, Napoli to play? Is it going to be an Italian type football? Do you expect them to play a lot on the break or um, do you think they're going to be playing a different type of football? And uh, the second question was regarding um, uh, the strikers. Um, do you think that Balotelli will be able to um, to play uh, in a way a background role respect, um, uh, compared to Jaco and Aguero who are already established? Per quello che riguarda il Napoli, una squadra che viene a giocare la prima partita di Champions League, che gioca con Cavani, Amsic e Lavezzi, non credo che sarà una squadra che verrà qua per difendersi e giocare in contropiede, credo che farà la sua partita come ha sempre fatto negli ultimi tempi. Quindi Napoli dispone di ottimi giocatori, per questo dico che sarà una partita difficile. Per gli attaccanti, beh, Mario adesso è per forza perché è squalificato per queste tre giornate, quindi in generale no, eh, hanno iniziato a Guerre Zecco perché erano qua, si sono allenati quasi sempre e Mario, e poi Tevez è arrivato in ritardo, quindi non è ancora al 100%, anche se la sta, sta trovando la forma migliore, quindi la fortuna di avere quattro attaccanti mi dà la possibilità, giocando noi ogni tre giorni, da qua alla prossima sosta, credo che ogni partita probabilmente cambieremo, cambieremo gli attaccanti, oppure eh, giocheranno coppie diverse, questo dipende anche da, dalle situazioni, però insomma io sono convinto che Mario saprà adattarsi a questa squadra perché è una squadra migliore rispetto all'anno scorso, siamo migliorati e quindi lui dovrà fare qualcosa in più. Per quello che riguarda Tevez, Tevez è una certezza perché è un giocatore da 20 gol a stagione. Ok. So, um... Regarding the first question, um, well, it is uh, Napoli's first match in the Champions League. However, a team that can um, uh, that has in in its squad uh, players like Cavani, Hamzik, and Lavezzi, um, 
uh, I'm not, I, don't expect, I do not expect them to play just on the break. I expect them to play football and play good football as usual, as they are used to do it. Um, they are a team that have great players, so this is my expectations. As far as um, the strikers are concerned, uh, well, for now, Mario will have to adapt um, to the situation because he has been recently disqualified, so he will not be playing for the first few, uh, next few matches. Um, however, um, both uh, Teco and Aguero are, uh, are great players. And um, just one second, I'm going to uh, clarify something with Mr. Mancini. Chiedo scusa, cosa ha detto riguardo a Tevez? Che è un giocatore sicuro, un giocatore da 20 gol all'anno, quindi non abbiamo grandi problemi con Tevez. Grazie. Ok. And of course, Tevez has uh, nothing to be afraid of because he's a uh, he's a player that always gives a hundred percent for performance, and um, he doesn't need to find his shape. And of course, I count myself very lucky for being able to rely on four strikers, and especially in a situation where I need to uh, where the team needs to play every uh, every three days, so I can have a good turnover of the strikers. And Mario will have to eventually adapt, but this year uh, we'll, we, have, we do have a great team. And um, as I've already said, uh, Tevez doesn't need to prove himself. He's already done so. Manchester City and Napoli. One last question in Italian. Manchester City and Napoli, entrambe sono diciamo esordienti in questa competizione, quindi da questo punto di vista siete pari. Però tu hai molta più esperienza di eh, Mazzarri eh, nella gestione della Champions League. Pensi che potrai sfruttare questo vantaggio? Cosa cercherai? Come cercherai di sfruttarlo? Ok. So. Of course, both Manchester City and Napoli are at their debut in the Champions League, so in a way you can be considered um, on, ev on an even level. However, you do have uh, more experience than, uh, than Walter Mazzari. Um, do you think you're going to exploit um, this experience that you have over him? Yep. Napoli and City are two debutants in the Champions League, but all three teams have players of experience who play in nelle proprie nazionali, quindi questo non è un problema, tra me e Mazzari non c'è grande differenza perché eh, credo che lui sia un allenatore esperto, conosce il calcio molto bene, è un grande allenatore, ha fatto benissimo in qualsiasi posto dove lui è stata, quindi poi come è la stessa situazione di prima, è vero è Champions League, però poi le partite sono uguali, non cambiano, quindi forse alla lunga, ma io non credo perché lui ha l'esperienza giusta per far bene. So, um, yes, it is true that, um, that Napoli is uh, also at its uh, debut in the Champions League. However, it's a side that can rely on very experienced players, and several of these players have been capped for their respective national teams, and Mazzari is also a very experienced um, manager. Of course, it is... Mm, Champions League matches present the same type of situation. Um, uh, So I, I do expect Napoli to be a challenge. Do you feel you have a personal point to bring in the Champions League? Your record in the Italian Championship is fantastic, but you struggle to repeat that success in the Champions League. So for you personally, you think this is going to be a big test in a point of view? Could be, but in Champions League, it's like in the Championship, only one team win in the final. Uh, we want to, for us, uh, will be the first time. Uh, we want to do better than we can do, but it will be will be very hard because uh, Champions League is a strange competition. Uh, but now it's important that we start uh, we start well uh, this competition. Have you learned a lot from your experiences with the competition? <laughs> It's always a football match, uh, don't change the Champions League. Champions League only because uh, if you are lucky, when uh, will be a draw, if you go in the second stage, it will be the second draw. If you are lucky that you don't get uh, a Barca, for example, uh, maybe. But after, if you arrive uh, after the first stage, uh, after the first group, I think that uh, there, there are uh, the, the top team in Europe. Uh, and after everything can happen. Champions League uh, is like this. Uh,